Hi, uh, welcome to unit uh, 1.4, the data processing cycle. All right, uh, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to know the difference between what is known as data and what is known as information. Secondly, you should be able to list and explain the stages uh, of what is known as the data processing cycle. Finally, you should be able to distinguish between data verification and data validation. Let's get started. You probably have come across these two terms, data and information. Now, the purpose of this lesson is to look at what is known as the data processing cycle. So before we look at the individual meanings of these two terms, let us look at what data processing cycle refers to. The data processing cycle is the sequence of steps involved in acquiring and converting data into information. So, what is data? Data refers to raw facts which have been collected, but they have not yet been processed to give meaning, meaning which can be used in a decision-making process. Now, that's quite a mouthful definition, but um, things will become clearer as we move on with the explanation. Essentially what you have is, when these raw facts have been processed, they convert to what is known as information. So in other words, information is data plus meaning. What do we mean by all this? Let's look at an example of, you know, a financial record of a shop, let's call it shop ABC. Now in this shop, whenever a sale is made or an expan expense has been incurred, there is a shopkeeper who records each and every transaction. So these transactions will have the following categories, uh, there are electricity bills, there are wages to be paid to workers, and then here you can see uh, sales of some products. These are keyboard sales and this is, uh, these are sales for monitor screens and then data cables and then there is also an expense down here for rent and these are the correspond co corresponding figures. Now when you look at uh, this list you can't really use it to make a decision. For example you may want to make a decision um, of maybe uh, wanting to increase the salaries of your employees. Now from that list it's just a list of figures, sales, and it's all jumbled up, expenses together with uh, sales. So when you look at the, 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 the list that we saw, uh, it is not very useful in guiding a decision-making process. So like foodstuffs, which, which cannot be eaten until they are cooked, those facts that we looked at, the list of figures, they are raw, they are not cooked. It will require a processing mechanism. Now, what do we mean when we say processing mechanism? We're simply talking about simple things like uh, classification, meaning we need to group together things which belong to the category of expenses, things which belong to the category of sales. They need to have a different classification. Then there may be arithmetical, other arithmetical processes of addition. For example, if I have a list of expenses, I need to know what is the total of these expenses. If I have a list of um, sales, I need to add up all the money that has come from sales. And at the end of it all, I may need to do some subtraction. For example, from the total sales figure I have, what expenses do, do I need to remove so that I can know what is the profit position of the sales? So, what we're going to have is something like this. As you can see here, all the sales have been put in one category. 
and the process of addition has been done here. Here showing the, the total for all the sales. Then here you have expenses. So electricity bill, the electricity bill, wages, the shop rent, they've all been put into one category. And then again, a process of addition has been done here, giving the figure of 450. Then there's some subtraction also here, where expenses, which amount to 450, have been subtracted from sales, which is 550. And then now, finally, I have a figure which can inform my decision. So if I want to get a loan, I'll be able to know what kind of money I am making. Now, of course, this is a very simple example, just for illustration purposes. But this is what usually goes on in business. There is a collection of raw facts. As sales are occurring, so, uh, uh, sales figures are being recorded. So, so many other things will be recorded. But at the end of it all, various processes have to be done. Classification, aggregation, addition, subtraction, and all sort of business processes. And all these things are done so that at the end of it all, you have information. Okay, so that is the basic difference between data and information. Data, these are raw facts. Information are the same raw facts, but which have been processed to give meaning. All right, so let's see if you understand uh, the concepts that we've just explained. You go to your textbook on page 27, do activity 1.3, and after you are done, submit your answers in the week one portfolio. Do that before you proceed to the next segment of this lecture.